one more here and then I'll get a hold of you now. All right, seems like Tingana is quite happy all the way up there. Sorry guys, there was just a bit of game drive talks, but I'm sure Tristan will understand that we are. We much prefer to speak about Tingana <laughs> than anything else. Um, it's been a wonderful afternoon and who knew that we were gonna come across so many different cats all around. I, I don't even believe it myself. We had such a struggle for them this morning, but it's always wonderful to see them up here. And I think Tingana, Mm, he's looking somewhat full. I don't think he stole too much of what was left of a kill. If we think that Tandi and Tamba were perhaps eating it, I don't think there was too much. Maybe just a little bit for him to enjoy. And now off with his beauty sleep. So I wonder if we're gonna hear him calling tonight. He's not too far from the staff camp and where we stay. So every now and again we get lucky and we hear all these wonderful sounds that the nocturnal creatures go that allow us to somewhat hear and have a bit of an idea of what they get up to during the night time. I think for the time being though, he's more than happy to stay up on the termite mount and I just wanna see if perhaps he'll wake up and glance in any direction and give us a bit of a look. Cause for now, it seems like maybe that's just not gonna be the case, but I can't believe how comfortable he looks on top of the termite mount, doesn't he? It's almost like he's found a perfect couch and he's just managed to wangle himself all the way in there. It's almost like the termite mound is perfect for him and I'm sure this is not the first time he's come across this termite mound. <laughs> Knowing Tingana, he knows exactly which termite mound he wanted to sleep on. Oh boy, I'm sure you've enjoyed the day, haven't you? What a wonderful afternoon it's been. Good to see you around. I haven't seen him for, or I hadn't seen him for a little while. And I think, like we said last time, it was Tristan and you, hey, sir, when you guys had him on that kill. I think. Oh, uh, yes. Um, yeah. On Little Gary. On Little Gary, mm. yes. Yeah. So that was the last time we saw him, but it's always good to catch up with them and know that they are still doing well because sometimes or more often than not we will see their tracks on the road going up and down and up and down <laughs> before we actually manage to see anything else oh. i think you are still quite sleepy i wanted to maybe give him a bit of a of a chance to see if perhaps he was gonna get his head up Jackie, you're wondering how leopards choose their prey. Well, it's normally an opportunity thing. As he walks down the termite mount, he's gonna start looking for something that he can get very close to. So anything that's unaware of his presence there that he feels that he can get very close to, undetected, then that's very likely who he's going to choose. Um, and in terms of potential prey species, he can choose anything from a warthog to an impala to a diker and I've even seen Tingana eating scrub here. So pretty much whenever he's got the opportunity, that's what he's going to choose. Anything he can get, get, get very, very close to and then pounce on it at the very last time. So I reckon maybe, well, I don't think there are any warthogs on this termite mound, like potentially on the other side, but Tingana is also known for being a very patient boy and he's been known to wait on top of the termite mounds for creatures to either start coming back to their burrows like a warthog would do or come out like an artfark would do and just hunt them from above. I can't see any openings on this termite mount, so I think maybe there is nothing in this particular one that he would be quite interested in because he is definitely cat down very very flat on top of the termite mound and I'm just so impressed by how perfectly well the, the shape or his body shape or the way he's sleeping just kind of helps create that idea of the mound and if you think about it if you if you were to look at it very very closely he looks as part of that that triangle that pyramid shape that the termite mound has and you wouldn't even be able to see it I mean look at that you just see a termite mound. Wonderful. It seems like Jamie's got a very active cat. So let's go over to head to her and see what the animals are doing all the way in the morrow. <laughs> 